Hello, how's it going? So today, Look Mum No Bootleg, Volume 1 and Volume 2 are now up and out on vinyl. They're being posted this week for people who have pre-ordered and stuff like that. And this pre-order and stuff came with the Circle Drone of Doom project, which is what we're going to look at today. But first, we'll just have a quick chat about the Look Mum No Bootleg. I put these vinyls together because a few people asked if they were ever going to happen. The Look Mum No Bootlegs are collections of things called mega mixes. These are compilations and highlights that I've put together of live streams that I've done in the past, public and ones on Patreon and that. What I did was recorded all of the separate stems of all of the live streams into my digital mixer and then after that took all the bits that I like and squeezed them into songs that were about 8 minutes to 25 minutes long. And the ones that are in Look Mum No Bootleg Volume 1 and Volume 2 are quite old ones. They're from a couple of years ago and they've been up on Patreon and people just asked if there, I was ever going to put them on vinyl so here we go. I still make these mega mixes there are a couple that are still up that aren't on these vinyls and yesterday I started making a another one on a Patreon live stream and recorded it in so I'm going to pull that in and kind of find all the good bits and try and jam it together into a cohesive song thingamajiggy. So what you're hearing on the Look Mum No Bootlegs are pretty much all kind of things that have been made up on the spot, played live and recorded in and then kind of mushed together and mixed to sound like something that didn't sound like they were just played in live and mixed together and all that stuff. If you want to get hold of the vinyls the links are below, it's also available on streaming services and Bandcamp and stuff like that. Anyway, let's have a look at the Circle Drone of Doom. This Circle Drone of Doom came about because the last time I did a vinyl, I made the Atari, 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 punk, 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 console, console, console. It's a circle synth. It's basically three Atari punk consoles that cascade off into each other. It was deliberately made to be a bit of fun, kind of a little bit easier to make than making one of the modules, and people kind of enjoyed it. So I figured, why not make another circle synth? And that is, yeah, the Circle Drone of Doom. What this is, is basically six super simple oscillators with a D2 knob in the middle. So first let's hand it over to Handy Face McGee and he'll show you how you make it. So this is everything we're gonna need to make the circle shit from Doom. There's a list of bill of materials on the internet so check those out and make sure you got it all. Let's get going now. Right start by soldering the resistors. Luckily there's only a few of these. 47k, 1k and a couple of 3k threes. Next up we're gonna put in the transistors. These are SS901 which will oscillate at 12 volts. However, if you've only got Hoenn 3904s, just make sure you use an 18 volt power supply. Anyway, let's get going. I fully recommend the SS901 8s if you're looking. Now let's go ahead and put in new capacitors. Let's start with this one microphone, and that goes on the output audio. So it goes over here. Now it's time for the range capacitors. I've got one 4.7 microphone in my hand and a one turn you with. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put three 4.7 that means we got three oscillators that are a little bit low and three oscillators that are a little bit in the middle. You can go a little bit higher for higher frequencies, but I think this will be surprised. You can try using one UF as well, that would make a really high note. The ten UFs I'm gonna use are a little bit tall. So that means you gotta check if they're a little bit taller than this because they need to be panel mounted. If they're a bit taller, make sure you bend them down a little bit so they don't fit. Yeah. So I don't mean sideways like this, so you won't have problems later on, trust me. But only if they're really Oh, trust me, I made that mistake once and I'm never doing it again! Now let's circumnavigate that DC barrel circuit for the power! It goes over here! Yeah! Next up, we've got to put all of these in, but we must not solder them in place before we put the panel on to make sure it's all up straight. Squeeze them in like so! Yeah! Just like that! Push it right in! I'm feeling it, boys! Now do the same with the potentiometers! Come on, let's get going! Just like that! Next up, get the LED! Remember the long leg of the LED is the plus, and that is a circle pad on the circuit board, and the square is the sharp leg! Remember that now, remember! Don't solder them! Leave these two last! That's just what I want to see! Now we get the panel, and we jam it on top! Soldering anything yet? Now bought all of these components to the front panel. Just like that. Now turn it around and make sure all the LEDs are falling through the panel holes. Like so. Now you can solder everything in place. Just like this. Make sure these are good solder connections because they're structural as well as electronic. And finally, we're just gonna put the knobs on. Oh, let's go. So there we go, that's how you make it. Hopefully it works. Let's have a listen and see what it does.
switches in the middle basically turn on and off the oscillators so you can tune them all and then turn them on and off and kind of play it like that. Also, it's very close to guitar level, so it works quite well with effects pedals. find the circle drone of doom a bit of fun i've included a little bit of a sound pack from the jam on this today over on patreon so you can download that and do what you want with it and yeah i'm look mom no computer if you like what you see don't forget to subscribe and remember don't be scared to try it do do